And just like that, we hop on to Mentor 2. I actually remember this one being pretty darn insane. We got really lucky with me getting a sort of ultimate technique chain going, which helps us out in the long run. I'm kind of moving the camera here, like slightly. Why would you have a kanji of algae on your back? What's this one? Ah, it will forever haunt my mind because I won't know the answer. Uh, yeah, that's kind of an overstatement. Gonna be completely smashed to death here. Destroy the enemies with monstrous lag. I don't remember it being this bad. Like, secretly, I really love, like, all those explosions going on. In day five, I think it is, or day six. Like, in the, when you go, when you're walking towards the village. Like, all those explosions of those bombs going off and the arrows flying. And then you look at your HP bar and you're not even hit yet. And you'll be like, thinking, I am a true ninja. Like, that what really gives you the feeling. I've kind of given up on not saying like. Poor guys didn't have a chance. I think he's got the same one as me, because I'm also, he's also spamming shurikens like hell. Oh, find the ultimate technique again. Whee! They have to find out a way for the Sigma version on how to, well, properly aim that thing. If there is going to be a Sigma version. Because he, he said he showed, what the hell was going on there? That guy was like teleporting all around. Like, he's, uh, Hayashi? I have no idea what the lead designer is. What's his name? He said that he was showing interest in producing a Sigma version. But I think that opinion might have changed after all the hate this game got. But don't get me wrong, it's a pretty darn good game. But it has a really weird exception curve. Like, the first hour eight? Uh, the first playthrough, you won't like it. I can pretty much guarantee that, especially if you're a Ninja Gaiden fan. But let it grow on you and then it'll, it'll show its true colors. And especially when you start to master the skill and bone tactics, it's pretty good. But that being said, I'm actually surprised they're actually still re that's twice actually, that they're still releasing um, DLC. Like, it was already announced. And there's all these sorts of glitches. Right now the game's on platinum mode. On platinum my bowl. Due to uh, certain uh, challenges crashing the instant a certain point is reached. Which is kind of sad, in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to fix it. Due to the... Well... I always consider video game companies kind of childish in that sense. That they're like, okay, the game's not accepted, so we'll just abandon it. And I think that's gonna happen with this as well, and they're just gonna move on to another project. Meaning this game will become unplatinumable. Unplatinumable, yeah, whatever. And here you see the OT chain going nuts. Whee! And there we go again. I wonder what Fanrul is thinking. He was like, what the hell is going on? Oh, there we go again. Going on a death machine. Oh, got another one. <laughs> yeah, those brute or apes or whatever you call it, actually really weird by getting hit. And it almost cost us the entire match, come to think of it. From what, at least from what I remember. Well, the basic gist is, those apes, when killed, get enormous, uh, well, I like to call it blood energy. Towards the ultimate technique. Meaning, if you kill, like, one with it, you almost got a full ultimate technique bar. Here, you, here you have it again. Almost feel like I'm, I'm saving it for the, I think I'm saving it for the demon, uh, the side guy. He's actually going to show up. Sometimes that auto-aim doesn't really work the way it should. Oh, that was really stupid. Because I thought it, it was... Teleport... Uh, he vanished. So I thought, oh, okay, he's going to... In, going, gonna go into his... 
Um, Psych mode, but he didn't. I think there's another round after this. Pretty sure. Yeah, there's another one. Most bizarre enemies. I wonder, can you stun lock him with dual arrows? That would be kind of fun. Jesus Christ, getting absolutely destroyed. Oh wait, I remember this. We got really cocky here because we were we were thinking, at least I was, this is the last guy. And from what I remember, it isn't. There's one round after this. And we are like completely low on health. And right now I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna arrow you to death and I find out to tank it all. This is bizarre, because I'm, usually I'm the tank. I love tanking. I love getting hit, being a meat shield. I can take it all. Are we really done here? I'm not sure. I think there's another round. Yeah. At this moment, and I saw these monks, I was like, we have to redo this. We're dead. Those monks. And then we kill them, and then there's probably another couple. Yeah, then these guys show up. Whoa. I wanted to save him with the uh, ultimate, I think. Nympho and stuff. Use the ultimate technique. Oh, he's using it. It's kind of annoying that you can't see your allies meter. Like, this is kind of annoying. I'm seeing stuff that it would do different right now, like attack the monk who's charging his energy. Because you don't want them charged up. That's annoying as hell. Well, found we're getting completely destroyed. Well, at least I got some health back. Ah. Yeah, this really bite us in the ass, thinking that that was the last round. That was complete luck. <laughs> I mean, look at this health. There's nothing left. And then I get an ultimate technique and thank God I get enough to get an info going. And I even managed to get my contract done. Like a sir. Kamehame. Do no damage, ha! I would have cried if this guy killed us both. Oh, there's still two of them. Three! Oh my god, how did we beat this? <laughs> Alright, he's dead now. Is Luma! Well, that's one upside. Damaging them charges your uh, Nimpo ability pretty darn fast, which is good. Another one. I'm actually kind of, like, scared. Like, another one? Oh my god, look at Fandral's HP. Oh, nice, he's got an ultimate. You can do it, man. I think we did it. Whew! I'm actually kind of tired just by looking at that. Dear God. 